Hey y'all, uh, I am here to talk about the Diablo 4 patch notes that we just got today, like and less than an hour ago I'm recording this. Uh, this is going to be the big mega patch they have talked about in the last campfire chat. It's a pretty lengthy set of patch notes. I haven't actually read through them yet myself, but I was going to do a quick overview or try and be quick with the overview. I'm not going to read every single fix that is in this build of the game. Uh, but I'm mainly going to focus on gameplay changes, uh, class balance changes, uh, some dungeon changes and things like that. I do implore you all to read the patch notes yourself. Um, there are some bug fixes here about certain whispers can be fixed and some other miscellaneous um, bug fixes. So if some of these might have affected you, uh, do give them a look. But I'm going to focus on the major topics. There is a section here for uh, gameplay specific changes as well. Um, I would definitely look these over. There's some things for kind of all the classes, some druid related uh, fixes, uh, corpse trendrel fixed, some barbarian barbarians will get stuck between bone walls after charge. Um, nothing here probably is going to be too uh, impactful, but definitely you know, like I said, give them a read through. I want to focus on the kind of high level uh, major topics as well. Some issues uh, were fixed or with local co-op if you're playing on console. Took some issue with some quest, which is good. Some UI visual bugs as well that have gotten fixed, which is pretty good. Quite a number of fixes here. Some miscellaneous fixes as well. Uh, definitely give them a read, like they mentioned. All right, here's the important stuff though. Gameplay adjustments. Experience rewards. Significant, significantly increase the experience rewards for completing Nightmare Dungeons. This is good. I'll have a video out later today uh, where I go over uh, this, see how good it actually is. They also increase the amount of experience you gain from killing monsters, which is interesting. I thought they were only going to be buffing the uh, bonus completion XP. Uh, last night I was doing some tier 46 Nightmare Dungeons, and those gave about like 115,000 XP for doing uh, completing the Nightmare Dungeon as like a bonus reward. So both of these things have been buffed, so I think Nightmare Dungeons are going to be pretty good now. But I'll have a video going more detail about that later. Uh, Helti Chest uh, Brant... More bonus experience. I didn't even realize I get granted experience. Okay, good to know. Uh, increased experience from completing individual whispers. That's pretty good. Uh, fix an issue where no experience is rewarded for completing the holdout style event that can occur after finishing dungeon objectives. Okay, this has got fixed. I think leveling... If, if, if these are good enough changes, leveling will actually feel pretty good. Uh, I, I hope, at least. Uh, I think Nightmare Dungeons being a prominent way to level will be pretty good. Next up, we got some general changes. So Helltide roaming bosses will now more consistently drop higher quality loot. This is pretty good. They already were kind of worth it. If you needed uh, Forgotten Souls, they were a pretty good source of that. So good to know that they're also buffing their uh, loot as well. Then they are like full bosses. They have a full health boss, a uh, full uh, boss health bar. There we go. Uh, players cannot teleport directly to their nightmare dungeons through the map. This is fantastic. I will be showcasing this later when I can get to try it out myself. Weekly bonus caches, some roll bosses no longer have a level requirement for opening. Pretty good. Developers note, currently working on increasing the monster and elite density of endgame content and plan to introduce this change early in Season 1. This is very good to hear. I'm glad that they are listening to this feedback specifically because I think um, there are definitely some dungeons, and some specific dungeons especially, where the enemy density feels pretty bad. Um, they do say early in Season 1, so I don't think this is going to make it in time for the Season 1 launch uh, next month, so... Uh, hopefully this takes not too long, but good to know that they are uh, working on this. Very good. Bounce changes. All right, before we get into this, developers note, continuing our efforts to make all class builds feel fun and powerful with a round of bounce updates. The community feedback stating that basic skills aren't impactful enough in combat. I would say this is pretty true. These changes will not change the fundamental relationship between basic skills and core skills, but we hope that they help smooth the leveling experience while we explore additional ways to strengthen them. Pretty good. I do like that. Increasing the power of some skills that players feel are lagging behind their peers. Upheaval buffs, maybe. We're going to find out. Upheaval fans, stay strong. Uh, as we look forward to future updates, we're monitoring other uh, heavily discussed topics, such as minion survivability and build parity. Pretty good. Keep sending us feedback, and we'll see you in the sanctuary. All right, lovely. Uh, I only really have a lot of experience with Barbarian, so I won't have too much to say for the other classes, but we're going to go into Barbarian first. Lunging Strike. Base damage increase, which is interesting, and you get one more Fury generated per hit. Pretty good. Um, was not expecting this to get buffed, but, uh, this is interesting. This is not a huge increase, um, but, uh, it's something. The one Fury, though, actually might feel pretty good, though. 
Um, looks like every generator uh, basic skill for Barbarian got buffed, which is neat. Uh, Bash now gives an extra point of fury from 10 to 11. And the amount of fortifies 10 to 20%. That's actually kind of nice. 20%, 10 more percent uh, fortify is not bad. Uh, Frenzy just gets a base damage increase. Pretty good. Uh, Bleeding from Flay got buffed. Extra 4%, going up to 40%. More fury generated. Pretty good. And the vulnerability chance is going up by 5%. This is pretty nice. Um, if I remember correctly, this is uh, doubled for two-handed weapons. So this could be a 30% chance increase, I'm pretty sure. Uh, for two-handed weapons with Flay, not a bad option. Definitely not a bad option. I think these are pretty good changes for Flay. And I already kind of liked Flay. I was, you know, I was in the Lunging Strike camp. And I still am going to be in the Lunging Strike camp. But uh, yeah, good, good changes. Um, not a whole lot... Of Fury that we're gaining, only one point for everything but Frenzy. Um, but I think this is better than nothing. So, pretty good. Double swing, but base damage increased from 36 to 40%. I do not see uh, anything related to upheaval. Feels bad. Oh, we do see some unique changes. So no upheaval buffs. Feels bad. Uh, but base damage increased on double swing, pretty good. I do like that. Uh, I haven't really used double swing too much, but. Uh, kick cooldown reduction. That's a big cooldown reduction. 17 to 13 seconds is pretty, pretty noticeable. This is a pretty good change. Base damage dealt uh, when being knocked back is 54%, uh, up to 70%. Pretty big buffs for kick. This is probably one of the most uh, underused abilities. I, th I think there's some really cool uh, ideas and builds revolving around kick. So this is a very huge bonus to people who are actually already using kick. So love to see that. Charge, enhanced charge base damage dealt to enemies knocked back into terrain by an extra 15%. Okay. Uh, leap slow has went from 50 to 70%. Okay, this is uh, kind of a minor buff, I guess. This is not that huge, uh, but sure. Uh, I enhanced iron skins barriers going from 10 to 20% of your maximum life. Pretty good. Overall survivability for iron skin. Pretty good. People were actually using iron skin somewhat regularly for my understanding as well, so pretty good. The Prime Call of the Ancients bonus attack speed is going from 10 to 20%. Also going to feel really good. Call of the Ancients is already kind of pretty good. So an even bigger buff from that. Iron Maelstrom. Whoa, that's a spicy buff for my, for my upheaval build that I have on the channel. You can check it out uh, on my channel. This is a pretty spicy buff. 15 second reduced cooldown reduction. Pretty darn good. This is huge, because I'm already getting a lot of cooldown reduction from the weapon swap uh, aspect of Iron Maelstrom, so this is pretty solid. Has a, an extra 20% crit chance on the uh, prime bonus crit chance, and uh, crit damage going up 20% as well. Huge buff for Iron Maelstrom. I was already using this skill, so this is going to feel even better. I'm very excited to try this out later. Uh, looking pretty good. Pretty good changes all overall. Uh, no upheaval buffs. Feels bad, but uh, upheaval is actually pretty good. Um, so pretty good. Uh, legendary aspects. Nope, I scrolled on. Oh, I forgot bounding slam. Oopsies. Uh, base damage increased. Sure. Sure. Um, developers note the below includes changes to flat damage legendary aspects. These affects scale with item power. Uh, for example, 820 item power Bokathos earthquake, earthquake increases from 1747 to 2687 Pretty good. Looks like they're increasing the lower minimum rolls by a lot. This is like almost a thousand increase going from 1747 to 2687 for the same item power range. So pretty good. Um, includes a flat damage. Okay, so this is sort of like the base kind of value scaling uh, for a lot of these effects. So looks like a lot of these are just going to be buffed. So basically, Bull Cathos, the Earthquake flat damage is going up. It used to be 0.39 uh, kind of as a base value. and it's going to be 0.6. That's going up. Uh, goes from 0.76 to 0.83. Pretty good. The earthquake flat damage increase. That's going up by a pretty much the same amount. Uh, Dust devil's flat damage increase going up. The dust devil from wind slash or wind lasher. Pretty good. That's going up. The devilish more. All these dust devil effects. All these different uh, dust devil uh, aspects for barbarian are going up in their damage, which is pretty good. Hopefully, that's enough for them to be used. Iron Warrior damage reduction uh, got a buff, which is pretty good. Items, Overkill and Hellhammer, the two items that I get asked a lot of questions about. So it looks like the damage increase from the Overkill um, Shockwave damage is going from 16 to 30%, from 24 to 38%. I don't know if this is going to be enough to make me use it. 
but we'll see. And then the flat damage of the Hellhammer, I'm assuming this is referring to the fire damage, is going up from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5, 2.6 to 0 0.8. Uh, not a humongous increase. I mean, this is double, to be fair, 0.3 to 0.6. Um, so we'll see. I'll, I will give these a try. I'll probably make a follow-up video as well for these kind of things. So that's looking to be pretty good. Barbarian just kind of generally got buffed. The Iron Maelstrom, definitely the biggest change for sure so far. Next up is Druids. Oh, back up. Druids. Uh, again, I don't have much experience with the rest of these classes, but I'll kind of just briefly go over them. Earth Spike, uh, these basic skills are going up. Uh, base damage is going up. Spirit Generation going up. Uh, Fortify increase. Wind Shear has more damage and gives you more spirit. The Claw, basic skill, more damage, more spirit. Uh, the increased attack speed bonus is going up by 5%. And the base damage is also going up by 5%. Nice. Small, more damage, more spirit. And the uh, Enhanced Small, fortify by 1%. Okay. Lightning Storm, duration increase from 4 to 6 seconds. Pretty good. I'm actually using Lightning Storm on my Druid myself. And the Chance to Immobilize is going up by 4%. Not bad. Shred is getting a damage increase by 10%. The healing is going from 1% to 2% of max life. Pretty good. The base damage from Raging Shred is going from 51 to 70%. And the bonus crit damage is going up 10% to 30%. Uh, Wolves have a shorter cooldown by 3 seconds. They're now 11 second base cooldown. And the Lucky Hit Chance is going from 10 to 40%, which is pretty good. 30 extra critical hit chance uh, for this. Not bad. Uh, hurricane base damage. Uh, the, the meme of the, the meme for Druid, the 17 damage meme, is is, is going to be more like um, like 22 damage. Just out of kind of throwing out numbers. Anyway, base damage increase on Hurricane, pretty good. Rabies base poison damage is going up as well, pretty good. Cataclysm base damage increase from 52 to 64 percent. I believe this is their uh, ultimate skill. Um, has more base damage. Uh, last rate is going uh, from 400 to 460 percent on last rate. More base damage on that. The Petrify crit uh, damage bonus is going up as well. Uh, they did not buff uh, Grizzly Rage, which is probably warranted since people are already using Grizzly Rage. Um, but uh, these other ultimates are getting buffed. Uh, hopefully that's enough. We'll see. Uh, pommel base damage increase from 140 to 180%. Uh, some passive changes uh, for Druid. Uh, Beastial Rampage attack speed is going up by 5%, and the damage bonus is going up to, uh, by an extra 10%. Nature's Fury chance to cast a free spell is now 10% more likely. Pretty good. Lupine Fer Ferocity is getting an extra 10% damage bonus. Nice. Uh, some legendary aspect changes. Rune Worker's Conduit flat damage is going up a bit, which is pretty good. Mangold has a higher chance to uh, happen instead of going from 20 to 30. It cannot be 30 to 40%. Seismic Shift has a shorter cooldown. Instead of 2.5 to 1.5, is now 2 to 1 seconds. So overall, good. Uh, Blurred Beast has a damage increase for this aspect as well. So, yeah, Druid buffs. Uh, I've heard basically every every class got buffed on this patch. So, whatever class you're playing, you probably got buffed somehow. So, enjoy that. Uh, Necromancer, I've barely even played Necromancer. Yeah, so they're buffing the uh, all their basic skills. Um, damage, damage. Uh, this gets more Essence. Uh, more damage, more essence, more damage, more essence. Uh, Sever's initial base damage is going up. Uh, Blood Lance uh, requirement is 8 to 6 cast. Cool. Uh, Bone Prison has a shorter cooldown. The Bone Zone uh, has a fortify, more fortify chance. Um, Iron Maiden damage increase. Uh, Corpse Tendrils chance to spawn a Blood Orb is now 5% more likely. Uh, Bone Spike damage went up. Uh, minions now also engage targets with a cast curse. This is actually okay. This actually could be pretty good. I've heard some necromancers talking about uh, controlling their minions is a, a bit annoying, so this will hopefully feel pretty good. So, um, necromancers, let me know if it feels good to use or not. Hopefully, it is. Uh, some passives are getting buffed. This is going from three to one seconds for Kalan's Edict. Uh, Rathma's Vigor is now instead of 15 seconds, it's 12 seconds. Uh, pretty good. Spiked armor. Thorns increase is going up. So Thorns, Necromancers are going to be a bit of a buff there. Some legendary aspects. Some flat damage on these aspects are going up. Um, it's actually like doubling their flat damage values for this. Pretty good. Uh, flesh rending is just giving you basically twice as much uh, essence as it used to. It's pretty good. Um, fast blood. The ultimate cooldown reduction is increased from point, uh, 0.5 to 1 to 1 to 1.5. So yeah, kind of just like doubled across the board for these effects. Pretty good. 
Rogue, you are up next. Not as many changes here. Rogue's already pretty good, so... Uh, Invigorating Strike is getting a damage bonus. Blade Shift is getting its base damage up. Um, Heart Seeker is getting a damage increase. And the primary Heart Seeker damage is also getting a... That's a sizable increase from 30 to 75%. I believe this is a, a extra damage on the first enemy hit or something like that. Not, uh, don't quote me on that, but it's pretty pretty big bonus. 30 to 75%. Uh, Forceful Arrow is getting a slight buff. Barrage is getting a slight buff for its damage. Uh, Caltrops Chill going up 5%. Smoke Grenade cooldown is uh, down by 2 seconds. It's now 13 seconds. Rain of Arrows is now a 55 second cooldown instead of 60. So it's a slightly uh, lower cooldown. And the Prime Rain of Arrows and Biomit Potency is increased from 20 to 30%. I don't know if Rain of Errors is going to be used even with these changes. It seems like this is like one of the lowest used uh, rogue ultimate skills. So hopefully this is enough, but I'm not sure if it will be. Uh, volley base damage increased. Pretty pretty noticeable increase, 35% on this. Pretty good. Uh, some passives, or one passive change. Uh, close quarters combat damage increase is now from 20 to 30%. Pretty good. Legendary aspects, escape artist. Uh, pretty Pretty big cooldown reduction from 100 to 45 seconds. Like, I don't really know what this does offhand. Uh, again, I don't really play Rogue that much. Uh, but that's a very low cooldown in comparison. That's a 55 second reduced cooldown. Uh, nice. Nice buff on that. Uh, Umbris, Legendary Aspect, Lucky Hit Chance is now uh, anywhere from 30 to 50. Now 40 to 60. So that's pretty good. Um, Eyes in the Dark. I'm assuming this is their uh, like a, a unique item. Increased death trap uh, cooldown reduced from 30 to 15 to 20 to 15 percent. Oh, this is actually reduced. Interesting. Okay. Oh wait, no. Increased death trap cooldown reduced from 30 to 15 to 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it should be good. And last, we have sorcerers. Let's see, sorcerers. What's up with you? Spark damage increase. Enhanced spark damage increase. Flicker spark chance increase from three to four percent. Nice. Frostbolt got a damage buff. Firebolt got a damage buff. Charged bolts uh, got a slight damage buff. Incinerate got a you know five percent damage buff. Uh, enhanced incinerate damage it got a ten percent buff. Uh, mobilize requirement reduced from four to three seconds. Fireball now has a lower mana cost, pretty good. Frozen orb damage increase. The base uh, explosion base damage uh, is also being increased as well. And the chance to apply vulnerable is now going up from twenty five to thirty percent. That's pretty good. Blizzard is now getting a ten percent damage buff. This is great for the whole company. Congrats, Blizzard. Uh, you guys are getting ten percent more damage. Uh, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ice Blades now have a 10% more uh, vulnerability chance. Pretty good. Lightning Spear. Yep, just everything. Buffs across the board. Buffs everywhere. Everyone gets a buff. Lightning Spear damage is uh, increased by 60%. Nice. Uh, Crackling Energy gets a 5% damage bonus. Freezing Wake is now uh, has an even more uh, damage increase. Uh, Legendary Aspects. Abundant Energy. Chance to obtain additional uh, enemy increase from 20 to 30 from now 30 to 40%. Um, slow amount increase from 25 to 35 to 40 60%. Not a huge buff, but pretty good. Um, a lot of the uh, range of effects for these like legendary aspects, they seem to be bringing up the uh, the floor, right? So a lot of the lower values are being brought up a lot, whereas the higher values aren't necessarily going up as much. So, uh, but you know, this is still pretty good. 25 to 35 is now 40 to 60. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, chance to restore mana. Nice. Well, 5 to 10 is now 12 to 17 percent. That's a pretty, pretty big increase. Snow Guard damage reduction is now 10 to 15, or was 10 to 15. Now it's 20 to 25 percent. Pretty good. Concentration mana generation bonus is instead of 10 to 20, it's now 20 to 30 percent. Uh, Flame Scar item flat damage is going up from 0.1 to 0.2 is now 0.2 to 0.3. Just kind of just doubling up on the values there, or going up a bit on the values. And the Staff of Lamb Yusan, damage reduction is... Uh, damage reduction reduced from 40 to 30 is now 35 to 20. So it looks like this uh, got a nerf. Looks like there was like a couple of nerfs snuck in, but almost everything got buffed. So um, the people who wanted a bunch of buffs across the board, here you go. Uh, boom. Patch notes, done. Overall thoughts, looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, again, I can't really comment on the uh, other classes offhand, but the Barbarian stuff seems pretty good. Um... I'm really excited about the uh, Iron Maelstrom buff. Probably going to feel very, very strong. I'm very excited to try this out.
I'll check out the Overkill and the Hellhammer. I'm assuming these values will be updated retroactively. I won't need to get a new uh, Hellhammer or a new Overkill, hopefully, uh, to get these values. But uh, I will report back on these, hopefully, to see how well they perform. Anyway, if you want to check out all of the patch notes, they will be linked in the description. There are some bug fixes, so definitely check those out. Uh, some of these bug fixes might be applicable to you. Uh, I didn't want to spend like 20 plus minutes talking about a bunch of bug, fi bug fixes or anything, so I wanted to focus on major stuff. But do keep tuned in on the channel. I do have some stuff coming up very soon, um, later today as well. I want to make a video about the new Nightmare Dungeon changes, and I'll probably have some stuff talking about the new Barbarian buffs as well. So thank you all for watching. And I hope you all enjoy the patch today. Looking forward to season one. Take care, everybody.